This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a lady who uh, was diagnosed about uh, seven or eight months ago uh, and has been looking at all of the uh, great news about new treatments for myeloma and uh, wondering what her personal expectation should be uh, with, with her treatment. Uh, uh, when she was diagnosed, she received uh, initial treatment with the combination of Velcade, Revlimid, and Dex, which is really a standard option these days, and then uh, she had gone through uh, an autologous stem cell transplant. Uh, she had done uh, extremely well with that uh, and is in a, a, an excellent remission, although uh, I think what prompted this question is that uh, there's still uh, a small amount of myeloma protein in the blood. And so she's had what would be considered a really, really excellent, very good uh, partial remission. And so this is, this is a, uh, an excellent response. Uh, and so if we look at the results from, from different trials, uh, for example, the SWOG777 trial, which is one that I conducted on behalf of SWOG, or the French trial, the IFM2009 trial, a patient who has at least a very good partial uh, remission where the protein level has dropped by at least 90%, these patients are likely to be in remission for at least uh, four or five years, and these days can expect to have a survival, an overall survival, in excess of, uh, of seven years. And so compared to years ago, the initial expectation is really uh, quite uh, reasonable. But the additional question posed by this uh, lady is, here in 2020, uh, what can I expect? And this really is a, a very important perspective because right now, because we have so many new drugs, we have new drugs that have been approved, uh, pomalidomide, carfilzomib, ixazomib, panabinistad, uh, we have uh, daratumumab, a new monoclonal antibody, we have selinexor, we have all of these new things which have been approved. And then we have all of the new immune therapies, the CAR T cells, the T cell engagers, the uh, monoclonal antibody drug conjugates, and a number of other uh, drugs in development. And so what this means for a patient diagnosed right now is not only can that first remission be expected to be quite long uh, in a matter of uh, five years, uh, in a range of about five years. But beyond that, all of these agents will tack on to that a significant number of additional years. And so it's not unreasonable for a newly diagnosed patient who's doing well to have an expectation uh, in the 10-year range uh, that would be their survival. And right now, I have patients uh, doing well in remission way beyond that 10-year mark. And so a very, very important broad bottom line here is that newly diagnosed patients right now receiving initial triple therapy and a stem cell transplant with all of the backup options available can have a, a very high expectation of doing well. And so this long survival has gone from something that might have been considered exceptional in the past to now something that we can really expect with some degree of security. So a much more positive outlook in 2020 versus five, 10, or certainly 15 years ago.